Hello folks, this is David Hurley of David Hurley in Japan.com wishing you all the best for 2022, the year of the tiger. It is the evening of New Year's Day 2022. And in this video, I want to have a chat about a change I'm making to my morning practice. Every morning for the last four years or so, I have spent a couple of minutes reading the daily meditation from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman and drawn a lot of value from that stoical meditation practice, uh, reading the thoughts of the great Stoics of uh, 2000 years ago, uh, the Emperor Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, and the commentary on those meditations by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. I highly recommend the book if you're looking for something to read uh, every morning or every day, a daily meditation practice, then I would recommend the Daily Stoic is a great place to start. Uh, I'm ready now for a change of focus. I greatly admire the works of Machiavelli and uh, a modern day Machiavellian, as I regard him, is Robert Greene, the author of books such as The, the 48 Laws of Power, The Art of Seduction, uh, The Laws of Human Nature, The Art of War, and some other books. In 2021, he uh, drew from all those books, all his works, and put all those ideas into a series of daily laws, uh, which we can now enjoy and learn from. Uh, by reading Robert Greene's The Daily Laws as a daily meditation practice. And that's what I'm planning to do through uh, 2022. Now, each morning I do a little bit more than just read uh, meditation from The Daily Stoic or going forward now, The Daily Laws. Um, and one of the things I do is read whatever collect of the day or the week happens to be current uh, from the Book of Common Prayer. Now, January the 1st, uh, in the Book of Common Prayer, there's no mention of New Year's Day. January the 1st is the uh, circumcision of Christ. And so what I'm going to do in this video is read the Collect for the Day, which is the Collect for the Circumcision of Christ, and then I'm going to uh, look at uh, January the 1st meditation in the daily laws and see if we can connect those two uh, diff very different uh, readings. So here goes. The Circumcision of Christ, The Collect. Almighty God, who madest thy blessed Son to be circumcised and obedient to the law for man, grant us the true circumcision of the Spirit, that our hearts and all our members, being mortified from all worldly and carnal lusts, we may in all things obey thy blessed will, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Yes, indeed, mortify us from all uh, worldly and carnal lusts, but not too quickly. Mm. Now we turn to uh, Robert Greene's The Daily Laws to see what he has in store for us in January. The theme, each month has a theme, and I think it's divided also into either quarters or thirds to take us through the year. The theme for January is a preparatory theme, as you would expect. It's all about finding your life's task, no matter how far advanced your life may be for many, many of us do not find our life's uh, task ever or we only discover it late in life and better late than never. So the readings are divided into three parts. There is 
rather similar to the Daily Stoic, there is a quotation at the top. Well, at the top there is the date and there is um, the, the title. Uh, and then there is a quotation, then there is uh, Robert Greene's meditation, and then at the bottom there is, um, it is, it is um, condensed into a daily law, and then the source in one of Robert Greene's books or other writings is given for, so that you can access that and read, read about that law in more detail, or read the theme, read about the theme in more detail. So here we are, January the 1st, the, the theme for today is Discover Your Calling. And the quotation is from uh, Wolfgang von Goethe, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. It's a quotation from Goethe, who says, everyone holds his fortune in his own hands, like a sculptor, the raw material he will fashion into a figure. But it's the same with that type of artistic activity as with all others. We are merely born with the capability to do it. The skill to mould the material into what we want must be learnt and attentively cultivated. And John Green comments. John Green? Robert Green comments. You possess a kind of inner force that seeks to guide you toward your life's task, what you are meant to accomplish in the time that you have to live. In childhood, this force was clear to you. It directed you towards activities and subjects that fit your natural inclinations, that sparked a curiosity that was deep and primal. In the intervening years, the force tends to fade in and out as you listen more to parents and peers, to the daily anxieties that wear away at you. This can be the source of your unhappiness your lack of connection to who you are and what makes you unique. The first move toward mastery is always inward, learning who you really are and reconnecting with that innate force. Knowing it with clarity, you will find your way to the proper career path and everything else will fall into place. It is never too late to start this process. That's nice to know. And the daily law is, mastery is a process and discovering your calling the starting point. And the reference is, from a book which I think he's actually still writing right now, it's not yet published, called Mastery. It's Mastery Part 1, Discover Your Calling, The Life's Task. So mastery is a process and discovering your calling is the starting point. Okay, now let's track back to the collect that I read earlier. The key phrase from the collect is this, grant us the true circumcision of the spirit. Now that true circumcision of the spirit is where every superfluous thing is cut away so that only the essence remains and that essence is the thing that is being spoken of here today of discovering your true calling. So yes, you hold your fortune in your own hands. Now Machiavelli has much to say about fortune. He actually gives it 50-50. Fortune controls 50% and human will about 50% according to Machiavelli, roughly speaking of course. Um, but that whatever it is, whatever, whatever, whatever the, the balance is, that part that you hold in your own hands is the part that you need to mould into the material 
that you need to mould it into. So it does come down to you. But by the grace of God, the circumcision of the spirit, the circumcision of the, what is it? The circumcision of the spirit is what we need to cut out all the superfluous stuff. And so there we have January the 1st, meditation, circumcision of Christ, helping us to find our true purpose in life. I hope you enjoyed that. That's all from me for tonight. David Hurley of davidhurleyinjapan.com.